What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of C3 Comics. As always, I am your host, C3. And I want to thank everybody for stopping by, checking out the channel today. We got a new comic book haul for February 10th, 2021. I've been excited all day about dropping this video. So without further ado, we're just going to jump right into what I got. All right. So hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and please, Feel free to ring the bell so every time I do a video, you guys will get that notification, all right? Oh, and again, before we start, let's send a shout out to Christopher Merlin because he won last week's giveaway, uh, Star Wars High Republic issue number two, and that, that thing is, in, is on its way, so uh, enjoy it, Christopher Merlin, enjoy it. We appreciate your sub, we appreciate your support over here at c.3.comics, all right? So with that out the way, let's jump right into what we got. And we're going to start with DC Comics, all right? So first off, we have Future State, Teen Titans, and this is issue number two. I've been looking forward to this book. So I grabbed myself quite a few copies of this. Um, you know, I've been reading Teen Titans for a long time, so I was real excited. And I'm happy I finally got this in my hand. And I'm also glad I pre-ordered it, because man... Um, $10 off the shelf, man. $10 off the shelf. Uh, particularly for this baby right here. Yeah, $10 right off the shelf. You know, so I was glad I pre-ordered them, so I got them for cover price. That's a beautiful cover, too. So I'm happy I grabbed that. And if you know C3, I grabbed one for spits and giggles. You know, one for the spec box. <laughs> yeah, but just a beautiful cover. So really, really happy I got my hands on it. All right. Next up, we have Star Wars High Republic. And this is the third printing of issue number one. This book, too, got off to a really good start. Um, this one was going for $15 out the gate, that first print was. You know, so I'm really, really glad... Uh, that I was able to pre-order these and get them for cover. Star Wars, High Republic. Issue number one, the third print. And you know, it was um, a fairly light week this week. So I had a couple of extra dollars. I was able to uh, take money that I would have normally spent on a new comic. So I doubled back and grabbed some that I might have missed out on. Well, that I know I missed out on. And one of those is um, The King in Black, issue number one. And this is the second thing. You know, the book that Donnie Cates is killing. <laughs> yeah, I know people don't like that. But at the end of the day, you got to give Cates his just due, man. Very well writer. He's a very good writer. Very good writer. Very well deserved is what I, would actually, is what I wanted to say. You got to give a person their props, man. You got to give them their props what props do. Don't hate. Congratulate. But Donnie Case, issue number one, the second print, King in Black. And look at that cover. Look at that cover. Fabulous. Remarkable. Next up from Marvel, I grabbed uh, Black Panther, issue number one. And this is that one shot. And this is supposed to be a King in Black title. So definitely looking forward to reading this one. So there are a few tie-ins, if you guys have been keeping up, that you know I've been reading. Um, this I think this is the second one. I've been reading the, uh, the Black Cat tie-in, and I, I'm going to try this one and see what this one hits for. But I love that cover. That's a beautiful cover. I like the greens and the blacks, how they complement each other. And you know, for spits and giggles. <laughs> just a beautiful cover. Just awesome. I know when, if I mess around and pop this in a Milo, I know those covers are going to look crazy. Beautiful colors. Here's one that I definitely had to get. And this is the Deep Beyond, issue number one. And it's that Peach Momoko sketch variant. I don't know how I missed this one. 
the homie was in the store, and he pointed it out to me. He was like, yo, did you get yours? And I'm like, what? First, he showed me uh, the regular cover, and I was like, yeah, I got that already. Then he was like, oh, but did you get this one? I was like, what? And that, and it was sitting in the back, so I definitely grabbed it. You know, all things Peach. She's hot. She's hot. And her artwork is, is, is really, really uh, something to be admired. E.B.I., issue number one. Sketch variant by Peach Momoko. Next up, um, and this book is coming from Aftershock Comics. It got off to a really good start, the last issue. And I was glad... Um, when it was that that it that it came out today because I'm really really looking forward to getting back into this book. Uh David uh Peppos and this is Scout's Honor, issue number two. Yeah, definitely looking forward to seeing what issue number two holds. This is about a boy scout who isn't really a boy. Um so I'm really really interested to see where they take this story to. Um, it, like I said, it got off to a really good start. The plot seems there. Uh, I want to see what character development and world building is going to be looking like. Um, so I'll let you guys know. I'll definitely probably do a little brief review on this, uh, toward the end of the week when I do Rex and Specs. All right. So keep your eye out for that. Another book that I had to double back and grab too, um, and this one also is coming from Aftershock Comics. I start hearing a little chatter about this one. And that's what made me double back and grab it. Um, so I didn't just want to grab issue number two because that's what came out today. So I definitely made sure I went back and I grabbed um, Elliot Rawls, Knock Em Dead, issue number one. And I think that's a nice cover too. But like I said, I was hearing some chatter about this. And uh, that it, it's actually a really, really good story. So I want to give it a read myself and see what's going on in there because I love a good read. So, but, and I just, I didn't want to just start from the second book. So I grabbed issue number one. And with that being said, I also have that beautiful issue number two. That not the book. This is a beautiful cover. I like this cover. That's just extravagant artwork. Very well done. And I don't know much about this book, but I'm hearing it's about a comedian who made a deal with the devil. He's not very funny, um, and he gets possessed by some type of comedian spirit. So, um, yes, that's what that's what drew me in. So I'm definitely going to give this a read and let you guys know what it hit for. Knock him dead, issue number two. All right, next up, we're going to move into Image, and I only picked up a couple of books from Image, and you have to know that if you, it is Ha Ha, issue number one, W. Maxwell Prince, Vanessa Del Rey, W. Maxwell Prince, and Vanessa Del Rey. This story right here, if you don't know, you need to get up on this one. I know there's probably uh, just as many of these that have been printed uh, as the first one, but I still wanted to make sure I get my hands on it because, you know, when things start drying up, they dry up for real. And it's still a very nice cover. The story in this is excellent. This got off to a really, really good start. Um, so, I grabbed another one for the collection, for sure, for spits and giggles. Just a phenomenal story. Very well written. W. Maxwell Prince. Very, very well written. All right. Now, the last book that I picked up is also from Image. Um, I can't wait to read it. I was really excited about uh, getting my hands on it. Uh, the anticipation and the anxiety was uh, just going crazy. It was building up. Um, they were flying off the shelves. So I was glad I got my hands on one copy. I am going to definitely... Um, go check other uh, LCSs and see if I can get my hands on another copy. But it is 
Radiant Black, issue number one. Kyle Higgins on this one. And I'm definitely interested to see what this is going, what this what this book is, what this book is about, what's going on inside this book. Um because I know that image has really been stepping their game up. They've been putting out a lot of good comics, you know, so very, very excited about this one. Very, very uh intrigued at what this new superhero might hold for us and the possible future that it may have. You know, because I mean, we could always use some new superheroes, you know, with some new, different, exotic, or extravagant powers, you know, something that we haven't seen before. So I hope this is one of them. Radiant Black, issue number one. All right. So there you have it, folks. Those are the comics that I picked up for February 10th, 2020, 2021, excuse me. And I hope you saw something you like. If you think I might have missed something, please leave a comment down below. Let me know. I got no problem double back and doing a little research and checking it out. All right? So real quick before we go, like I said, shout out to Chris Merlin who won that last week's giveaway. Next week's giveaway. Black Panther, issue number one, the one shot. We want this to go to somebody out there in the community. No particular reason, just the A-OK. -okay. It ain't no fun if the homies can't have none. I really enjoy reading my comics, and I just want to share that enjoyment with anybody who's willing to go along for the ride. All right? So, in order to receive this comic, there's only a couple things you really have to do. Number one, you have to be a subscriber to the channel. And number two, all you have to do is leave an encouraging comment in the comment section with the hashtag Keep it comics. And this comic book could be yours. All right? It's as simple as that. No additives, no preservatives. That's how we do it over here at C.3. Dot dot. So listen, everybody. Once again, I thank you guys for stopping by, checking out the channel. Please, feel free to ring that bell so every time I post up, you guys will be the first ones to know. Hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. Definitely give me a couple thumbs up, man. Hit that like button because I know that helps the channel. The algorithms really help the channel. And we're doing well. And let's not forget, in between all this giving away, giving away, giving away stuff, we're still pushing toward our 300 mark. And we're going to do a 300 sub giveaway as well. So we're just going to have a lot of fun, man. Just reading comics, enjoying one another in the, um, in the comment section, man. Just indulging in comics, yo. Just keeping it peace, keeping it love, and keeping it respectful. All right? So listen, I'll see you guys next time. And as always, we hold up. Wait. Stop the presses. Hold up. Listen, guys, I made a huge mistake. And where I come from, dealer pays the mistake. I know I announced that last week's winner uh, will be receiving Star Wars The High Republic issue number two. But Christopher Merling, you should actually be receiving... The Amazing Spider-Man issue number 55, that red and black cover, the second print. So this is what's going to happen. You are going to receive both comics. And with that being said, enjoy, sir. And as always, we're going to keep it comics. Peace.